Hello everyone, and welcome back to Project Zomboid with our, uh, our ever-reliable Keith Bergman III here. And we have just started a, uh, another run of this whole, uh, freezing winter challenge thing. Oh, good lord, no thank you. Um, so, I, like I said in the last episode, episode, air quotes, the uh, 0.5 episode, I made some changes since last time to try and uh, make this a bit more feasible, um, since it wasn't really working out with the, with the whole, like, constantly being basically dead thing. Um, in this run, where we happen to have spawned in the exact same house, um, I tr I, trust me, I did not, like, re-roll for this. I literally just hit uh, hit start recording, and then I just ended up here again. Um, anyway, I've changed the, um... I've changed the Cryogenic Winter, uh... preset thing down to, uh, the easy difficulty. So... The temperature should be a little bit less severe compared to what we were dealing with last time. So hopefully it should be actually survivable with just clothing now. At least when inside. I mean, like, is this the... Um... I'm trying to see. Which of these is actually better? Actually, I actually think these ranger pants are better when... Stuff. Um... I'm not, because, like, you know, the, the goal here isn't to make this, like, easy, or, like, make it so that I can just run around outside and not care, but I need to be able to survive when I'm, like, just normally around doing things, so. And I know that, like, a part of that is just, like, I need to find more and more clothing, but, you know, I only have so long to do that. Uh, outside of the change to the, uh, the slightly easier version, um, I made some minor tweaks to the, what zombies do, um, mostly just I made it so they won't, like, randomly attack things when they don't hear me, which I think is probably for the best, seeing as I, I've never, I never play with that setting on normally anyway, um, for a variety of reasons, mostly just because I don't like zombies destroying the whole map before I even get to see any of it. But, uh... Yeah, I felt like that was a little unnecessary, so I got rid of that. That shouldn't compromise anything, as far as I'm aware, so... Uh, fanny pack... Jeans suck... This umbrella might be useful, actually. Sandal's definitely not useful. Okay. Um, yeah, we're cold. We're, uh... Still trying to figure out if I can... Suit pants. If I can get enough stuff to... I wish I could more easily, um... <laughs> check insulation differences. It's really difficult in this game to actually, like... See this. Uh, so the... Yeah, this would be the ranger pants, which are definitely better than that. Um... You see, this hoodie is in place of what? Oh, replace this jacket. Okay, so that's not going to be better. V-neck sweater. Replaces military sweater. Okay, um, so it's like slightly less than half. It's like about the same. Uh, and that also sucks. Okay, um, first aid book. Yeah, not too crazy about books in this playthrough, because we're not going to be really setting up a permanent base, but reading material is useful because it will keep my character entertained and not depressed, so... Okay, so yeah, other than other than that, it's basically um, just another go at it. Um, you know, seeing this, if this works or not. Um, honestly, the core temperature isn't too bad. It's gonna get lower. And I need gloves and, you know, 
maybe some better pants or like long underwear or something. But other than that, like we're doing all right. I wasn't expecting uh, this uh, this series to feel like I'm playing the long dark like immediately, but it, it really turned out to, to kind of be that way. Alright, um, so, take this stuff, butter, that'll be nice in case I really get, like, you know, ruined on, uh, food and water and whatnot. So one thing I gotta be really careful of, um, with this, uh, with this playthrough is I can't let, uh, I, I really can't afford to, uh, get hit because I, I don't want my, uh, clothing to get ruined. Okay, so we're cold, but I don't think it's going to get any worse than that. So I think this is about as good as we're going to get for here. So I think we need to start moving. So, no more messing around. Yeah, it's pretty brutal outside, though. The wind chill is going to make it negative 74. And then we've already got somebody coming in. It's kind of surprising. This didn't happen last time. Alright, um... I don't know if these are... I'm just gonna pick this stuff up and then I'll figure out if it's good or not in a minute. Um, because it might be. Okay, we are going to start moving. Oh wow, yeah, there's zombies all over the place this time. Okay, goodbye. gonna head out this way this time. Oh, that's... Okay, um... I have a second here. I'm gonna look at, look at my map. Just let it lag in. Okay. So I'm just gonna follow the paths, I think, and just smack some zombies along the way. I need to get into, like, an actual area with buildings, because this wind chill's rough, and I can't be out in it too long. Negative 73 Fahrenheit. Like, that's still so ridiculous. I might have to do more tweaking with that, because it's like... I mean, so, that means that the... So, ignoring the wind chill... Ignoring the wind chill, it's like... Negative 50? Good lord. Oh, long socks. Um, so we have a jacket, but not a leather jacket. Uh, that might be useful. That might be useful, too. Freezing. Good. Goody, goody. Alright, let's, let's keep moving. At this point, I'm not even, like, interested in killing any zombies. I just need to keep moving. It's because I shift clicked. Oh, my bag's already full. Yep. Alright, fine. Bucket hat, goodbye. <sighs> so we got a big field here with a bunch of zombies in it. Not exactly something I want to clear out. Let's just keep on moving. Our character's relatively fit, so I don't mind doing this kind of like jog. Um, oh my. Yep, alright. Pardon me, coming through. Okay, so, yeah, I wanna... The problem is if I get to any places that actually have, uh...
buildings. I feel like they're gonna be covered in like a million zombies. I mean, look at this. Oh, there's actually buildings here. Huh. This is just too many zombies to fight with melee, though. There's just no way. I'd really like to stop and check this place out and see if I can get some clothing or at least, like, warm up a little, but it's just it's not. There's just too many. And this is, like, farming land. This is crazy. Alright, just try and get away from them. Okay, so we saw this last time when we were in the point five episode. We saw this, like, kind of out of the corner of our eye, the end of this, like, uh, train, like the, the railroad. So maybe we actually see what's going on here. They, there's not that many zombies here, as long as too many didn't follow me. I could easily get stuck in here, though, is the issue, and there's nothing in here. But I'm out of the wind, and I'm warming up. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna try and clear this area. No insulation from the boxers. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Because, like, I don't want to stay here long, because I don't want it to become night, but... Um, I kind of need to warm up, so... I gotta be careful because my attack speed is so slow. Getting even a single attack off is like so difficult. Because like, that's like the real challenge here. It's like actually killing zombies because of how ridiculously slow I attack. Even shoving is slow. God. Like, I can get off one attack sometimes safely. But it ain't doing much. Oh. Lag spike there. Kill me though, so that's good. Alright, alright, we're getting lucky here. Thank you, blunt weapons. This crawler sucks, but I'll deal with it. Shit. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Yep, I'm dead. Alright. Welcome back, everyone, to Project Zomboid with Keith Bergman the Fourth. Uh, as I've uh, unfortunately lost another Keith. Uh, this time we're starting in a somewhat different building, which is kind of interesting. Um, I haven't seen this one yet. I'm trying to stay quiet, because I don't want to... get found already. So I've made some uh, minor adjustments to the... Well, I made some... Oh, oh, actually, I know what building we're in. Okay. I know where we are. That's something, I guess. Um, I've made some adjustments to the, uh, the series here to make it, uh, frankly, playable. Um, specifically, I've uh, reduced the Cryogenic Winter mod to its easy difficulty so it's uh about 20 degrees uh warmer on average at any uh time of year from that mod um i've also made the change to change the starting month i've decided to move the starting month back to september i believe I either chose september or october i think it was september rather than um Rather than December. December is just too damn cold. Without having like anything set up, December is just too damn difficult for this this playthrough, in my opinion. So we're changing it up to September. And hopefully that's not too much of an overcorrection. We'll have to play it by ear and see how it goes. Um Inside, temperature's pretty decent, chilly. Um, but it's still going down, so it's probably 
pretty cold out even still. Um, and this start actually kind of sucks because uh, there's like nothing in this house. So we're gonna have to get moving already. And uh, I know where we are in comparison to like where we started last time. The farmhouse where we spawned last time is like right here. It's like you just go this way a little and then it's like right here-ish. So I might want to go there actually. I think I'm going to go all the way over to there because I just don't have anything and I kind of need stuff. Yeah. Let's see what let's see what we can get off zombies here real quick cuz like Come on. All right. We have an okay weapon and I want to see what kind of clothes I can get from these zombies. And we're attacking quick because of our, uh... Oh my god, the tree blocking my vision. That's so not cool. Um, we're attacking quickly because we're not that cold yet. So, it can be worth it to... Something behind me. Stop crouching. Get the hell away from the trees. Oh. Wait for me, Rick Grimes. Alright. Come on. Oh. More. Okay, this might be untenable. There might be more zombies here than I thought. Also, the fog's getting worse. The fog that we randomly spawned with. Yippee. How fun. I need to close this. I can't see. Uh, is getting worse, which is awesome. Big fan of that. Frying pan is not doing it either. Oh my. Okay, uh, I would love to stay here and fight this out, but I do not have the equipment. Can I reach the wall? No. Oh, no, they're... Oh, you can climb that. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, I would have liked to have gone the other way, but I don't think that's a good idea. So let's get the hell out of here. So many zombies. Let me out of here, bruh. At least we're not, like, dead frozen yet. I can't tell, um... Shit, there could be a good weapon in there, but I do not have time. Um... We're not, like, super frozen to death already, so that's something. I can't tell exactly what the temperature is out. Um, but it already seems like it's less than, um, what I was dealing with before, so that's good. Ooh, a generator. That would be nice if I could, like, stay in a single place and use that to power things and warm me up. Give me all these. Give me all these right now. I don't care. Give it to me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me the fucking hand axe. Okay, we're leaving. Bye! Okay, so we got a club hammer, which is um, kind of crap. Oh god, the hand axe's condition sucks. <sighs> well, it's a weapon. I can't complain, I guess. We're slightly thirsty because we have no uh, no bottle for water. Got a firefighter here. Oh my god. No, you must die right now. No, fall over. Die. 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 I need all of your things. Die. Please. Oh, I didn't get the firefighter stuff. I have to fight for this. The firefighter outfit would actually solve my problem, so I am fighting for this. Please. Oh, no, come on. Give me. Give me these. There's something behind me. Ugh, okay. I just need the jacket. Come on. Die. Die quickly, please. Yes, okay. Firefighter jacket. Give me. Come on, 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 before this other one gets here. Alright, I'm out of here. Alright. 
We are in business. Now I just need to be able to actually, like, put this shit on, which is a problem. Okay, quickly put everything on. Oof. Do I? Oh, I have long socks. Okay, I'll keep those extra long socks, though. Alright, um, still cold, but... Oof, still too cold, actually. Oh, my, hello. Goodbye. I can't believe I'm still actually freezing. That's crazy. I mean, the stuff isn't in full condition, but still, I mean, like, this is some of the highest insulation, insulation gear in the game. Yeah. Alright, um... Let me just see if I can get in... What is this? Like a prison or something? There's a lot of zombies around it, so it's kind of... bad. Okay, we're actually warming up, it looks like, now. I guess because I'm sprinting around. Because activity does increase the, uh, your body temperature. Oh, Jesus. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. I really wish this fog would go away so I can see what the hell is going on anywhere. But be careful with my endurance, because, like... I need to keep, like, running so that I can keep our temperature up, but, uh... At least our temperature is going up when I'm running. Which it wasn't before, I don't think, so... And we got a car key, which is irrelevant. Um, let's keep on moving. The problem with this is that I feel like there's gonna be zombies along this entire road. So, like... I feel like I'm stuck in this sort of situation now where I need to find some way to lose them, or just, like, a good weapon. Because, like, the two weapons that I have right now are both crap, so... Well, I guess I have three. Unfortunately, the club hammer might be my best weapon just because of its durability. Oh, we don't have a watch yet either, so I have no idea what time it is. I've got, like, an idea. But... This tank top I don't need either. Did I put what did I put in my backpack? Yeah, nothing crazy. No weapons, that's for sure. So just generally trying to keep the idea of going uh you know northish. But I want to follow the roads because I actually want to get to places. I don't want to be stuck out in the wilderness. Let's keep running. The temperature might have dropped because... Okay, no, it's just we need to be running for a while to get it to go up. Body temp is at 90, which is good. I want to get this off of cold and just down to chilly, so I'm not taking penalties to my speed and my... Uh, um, my speed and my attack speed, especially the attack speed, because I need to be able to fight zombies. Alright, let's see... This is like a farm place. Okay, pipe wrench. That is something. That is a decent weapon. I can I can go with that. I'd prefer... Uh, oh, wait. That has insulation. I don't have anything on my face right now. Give me that. Um, yeah, pipe wrench is not perfect, but it's something. I prefer long blunt, um, as I've said before, but, like, this is a solid weapon. Alright, I need to get off this angle. I'm gonna fight here, I think, because I don't think this crowd is too insane. Uh, I say, as there's, like, 30 zombies behind me all of a sudden? How many is this? That's a sizable horde. Uh, yeah, not... Not feasible with a one-handed weapon, I don't think. So let's keep moving. What am I at on Endurance 77? I need to keep that in mind. It's like a greenhouse. Could be tools in there that could be useful. 
or as like weapons. Oh, that's not good. Uh, this might have been a mistake. David the gnome. Oh wow, yeah, this was a mistake. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, for reference, this was in fact a mistake, but. Did I just get hit? No, I didn't. What the hell was that sound? Did I like, Goomba stomp a zombie or something? What the hell was that? Whatever, we're out of here. Um, my goal right there was to open that window, not jump through the open window. I didn't know it was open. So, that happened. But, whatever. It worked out, thankfully. God, there's just so many zombies here and I can't see anything because it's damn fog. Uh, I could... Well, I'm gonna go up to here at least, and then we'll see about clearing. Because if I use a fence, I might be able to clear these zombies. It's just whether or not I'm gonna get back attack while I'm doing this. And, of course, I've gotta worry about, um... The stupid zombie, uh, pull-down anti-fence crap that they put in. Yeah, that one's gonna do it. Yeah. God, I hate that. I really should turn that off, because it's really cringe, but... Uh, it is what it is. It's on, so I'm dealing with it. Come on. The reason why I'm doing this is because those houses over there are kind of, like, you know... At the very least, I need to get some stamina back, so I'd like to sit down for a minute, and also I need to watch, so... Uh, sit on ground. And in the meantime, I'm gonna look at these. Alright, we got a watch. It's something. Um, it's not gonna tell me how what the temperature is, but I can see the time, which is better than what I had before. Um... I mean, it's a weapon. It's a bad weapon, but it's a weapon. Oh, the magazine could be nice. Well, I'm glad the zombies decided to give me enough time to get my endurance back, so that's something. I gotta... I gotta start making moves, though. Yeah, most of them lost me over here. You can still see them. Alright. Get to 100 endurance. There we go. Let's get moving. Uh, I gotta start worrying about the thirst thing. Body heat increase. That's actually good to be thirsty, weirdly. Um, yeah, we're up at 91, but it's going down, of course. <sighs> we're also hungry. Which doesn't have effect yet, but it will eventually once I get hungry enough. Can this fog go away? Oh. Oh my. That's great. A gas station? Okay, well, we could get food and water here if I can uh, use this fence to clear some zombies. Assuming there's not too many on the other side of the fence. Uh, assuming I don't miss a shove and instantly get fucking whacked. Yeah, I guess that fucked up my pants. Or maybe it just didn't do anything? I don't know. Either way, it sucks. Okay. Managed to steal some cans of soda there, so that'll uh, that'll cover the drink issue when I decide to do that. Um, we lose strength, healing, the body heat increase I need, so uh, you know what, I'm going to stick with being thirsty for now. Um, just, uh, let's just jog it out. Problem is, I feel like no matter where I go... I'm just going to keep running into giant hordes of zombies. I'm going to have to clear at some point to find a place to stay, because it's almost 4 o'clock. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it's September, nighttime... 
Or... I think nighttime starts at like 6 or 8. Yes, of course. Shouldn't have done that little shuffle there. Look at dude, it's so awful. Because they just they just spam it. And now I'm scratched. And I don't uh, Alright, um for this. <sighs> it's just a nightmare because the the attack speed slow means I can't swing the damn pipe wrench fast enough to counteract the the zombies from doing that stupid knockdown thing and like basically like every second or third zombie will try to knock me on my ass and it's just not worth the attempt it's just way too risky let's just keep moving um so just regular thirsty I don't hear any zombies right now, so they're still behind me. Where am I? Oh, fuck, there's a river? Alright, well, let's go towards the river and see if I can find a crossing. I do not know this area of the map at all, so this is going to probably be an issue. Yeah, here's that river. There's probably a bridge over this way, if I had to guess. Let's start moving that way. I need to start getting my body temperature up, too. We're getting too low. So I'm just going to start running. Yeah, I mean, if it didn't... If the if the cold didn't slow my attack speed, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. I mean, it's like, you know, it's a concern. Because, you know, eventually I'll start to die from it. But, like, the attack speed slow is just so brutal. It makes doing anything so difficult. I can't even, like, fence fight. The hell is this? Okay, so this is a bridge. It doesn't. It's a rail rail bridge. Okay. It's not really quite bad on the map, but alright. Man, uh about this fog game. Can we uh can we do something about this or are we just gonna be in the fog for the rest of my life? I can't even what is this? What the hell is this? Uh-oh. Huh. That's not good. Uh, This looks to be... The map being broken? Oopsie. I might have screwed something up when I, <laughs> when I set up this mod back. Uh-oh. Uh, so that's what I need. I finally get a successful run with some good gear, and then I uh, run into a broken map border. This didn't show up on my screenshot save, though. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, this is a problem. Because the map just ends. Yeah, I'm going the right way, too, because this is north. Uh, okay, I'll be right back while I figure out what's going on here. Okay, and we're back. So, uh, I went and took a look at the map on my screenshot save, and I realized that there is a, you know, there is basically nothing in this, in this area because the way that these maps connect up, it only connects up on the main road out of this place, which is like all the way over here and then up this way. So, we gotta get a move on, because uh, there's no way for us to go this way. Even that, like, that direction, there's nothing there. So, not necessarily a problem, just uh, means that, you know, I've gotta... I've gotta get to the other, uh, the other side here.
Hopefully this won't be a problem. I mean, having to skirt the actual, like, main city of Erie County is gonna be kind of a fucking nightmare, probably, but... At least it, it doesn't mean that I screwed something up and that the save is ruined. Because I, you know... This character is doing alright so far, compar in, compar in comparison to all our other ones so far. Alright, well, we got something here. So I think I kind of know where we are since I've seen the actual map now, and not, not like, any insane extent. Oh, it's a graveyard. There might be a church here, though. Apparently a lot of fucking zombies is what there are. Oh no, bro, this is actually insane. Nah, dude, you could not use a nap. Minus 50% melee damage. Uh... uh this is impossible, actually, there's just way too many zombies here. I was considering, like, oh, maybe I can, like... Smack down a couple and like get into a church or something like that. If there's one in this year in this uh, cemetery, but uh, now this is nuts. This is crazy. There's just way too many zombies here. Oof. As someone who's used to just like, at least as far as Project Zomboid is concerned, beating all my problems to death with melee weapons, this is kind of like this playthrough is already such a nightmare. I just can't do- I can't fight at anything, I just gotta keep running and hiding. I mean, I guess Default Zomboid is supposed to kind of be like that though, right? It's supposed to be more of like a stealth game. Or fighting zombies is like, a bad idea, generally. It certainly feels that way right now. I'm just doing a lot of running. Okay, so here is the other part of this border. So yeah, it goes like up to here and then turns down. And then if we follow this uh, map edge here, it'll lead to the actual like city after a while. Which is, you know, not good really, but hopefully... Maybe whatever this is can provide us a safe place to stay? Probably not, because it's probably full of zombies like everything else is, but... I don't know, maybe. I mean, I gotta find somewhere to stay. It's already 6.50. I'm gonna end up with sprinters on me soon enough, and then I'm, like, giga screwed. And we're, uh, also, you know, getting really tired, and we've got moderate exertion, and... Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Either way, there's too many damn zombies over here, so I'm just gonna keep running, because we are combat ineffective at this point. Whew. We've got, like, no damage to speak of, and, like, you know, reduced attack speed and everything. I gotta say, the, uh, the, the... Definitely the, the hardest part about this challenge so far is the, uh, the attack speed modifier. I'm really not used to that, because, like, when, when your character attacks slower, like, most malices in the game don't affect your attack speed much. Like, even exertion, as you can see, only reduces it slightly. Um, it really throws off, like, what you think you can get away with when you, uh, when you have, like, like, significantly reduced attack speed. Um. Like, frankly, I just don't know what to do in, like, combat. I'm gonna, I kind of have to, like, relearn what to do with this, like, because of how reduced it is. Like, 34% is insane. Uh, let's see. If there's only three of you, I might just kill you. Please. Please. Something coming up behind me. Seriously? My dude. They actually all still- Jesus! I ran so far! Come on, bro! It's so- It's so doomed, actually. Like, the, the annoying thing, too, is these places have, like, generators and shit, this thing, but there's, like, no way in, so... 
Not to mention, of course, inevitably the entire inside is probably full of zombies. I mean, this might be like a climbable wall, but I can't tell because I can't see it. And I'm not about to just like blind climb. Especially because it probably won't work. Um, let's do belt left there. Nah, I can't, I can't climb it. Yes, it's like some sort of military base or something like that, but like... There's no way in. <sighs> There's tons of zombies outside of it, too. And imagine if this place is actually, like, clear of zombies. If I can find some way in that isn't going to lead to a getting overrun. That would be crazy. Oh, we're getting, like, super thirsty, huh? Oh, freezing. Even running isn't uh, increasing our temperature anymore. I guess because it's getting later at night. Yeah, it's like 85 internal temp. Yeah, unless we find a place to get into here, I think it's gonna be uh, I think it's gonna be game over for Keith number four here. Unfortunately. Ugh. Even in September, this is just like very difficult. So many zombies there. And then look at this, bro. Like, what is this? I mean, soon we're gonna... We're gonna run out of endurance to actually do this little jog run thing that we're doing, so... We're probably dead soon. I mean, actually, it's like super. It has to be nighttime right now, I think. Unless nighttime is considered 10 in fall, since September is still fall. Uh, so we could get sprinted out like anytime now. I mean, no matter what, it's coming soon. The sprinter hell. Um, there's a ladder there. Can I climb that? Or is that. It's got to be visual, right? I mean, but if I could climb that, like. Hello. I mean, I gotta do something, because, like... Pardon me? Uh, because, like, I only got, like, maybe another 10-20 minutes before I'm, like, super dead. Yeah, it's not real. It's not real. False hope! Alright, I'll just put my character on auto run with alt now, so, uh, we'll just run until we're not able to run anymore, which is gonna be soon. Because, I mean, there's just too many zombies here to actually, like, do anything. Like, to actually, like, stay in any of these places. There's just too much. I can't clear them. I can't fight. So, <laughs> I mean, look at that. There's just, like, a million zombies out there in this trailer park woods for some reason. Oh. Okay. Oh. Why can't I get out the window? Jesus. It's so hard to climb through those sometimes. <sighs> well. Uh... So, I mean, at most we've got another 40 minutes until we're dead. Oh, we've hit the map border again, I think. Oh no, I just couldn't see for some reason. Oh my god. Yeah, ooh, yay, we've made it to civilization. I wish I wasn't here, honestly. Oh, and uh, we're dead, because we can't run anymore. So, I mean... We're gonna get caught here in, 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 at some point. I'm kind of trying to... I, like, I'm already dead, functionally. I'm just kind of trying to survive until uh, 22, because I want to see the sprinters. <laughs> It'd be a nice confirmation of the mod working, just to be safe. I'm pretty certain that it is, but still.
This is pretty cool, though. I like this, like, uh, train station thing. I don't like the a million zombies that I'm about to run into, but, you know. Oh, my. Oh. I'm so sorry, Keith, for... I cannot see a damn thing. Hell, um, I am in a room, and there's a zombie in here. Oh, there's a lot of zombies in here. Oh, boy. Well, that's, uh, that's a new record for, for this, uh, for this challenge. I mean, 13 hours and killed 14 zombies. Whew. This might be too hard for me. <laughs> Seeing as I've already tried four times, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll see. I'm gonna keep, keep giving it a go, see if I can get this to stick. I gotta figure something out.